Hello and welcome to day 18 of the 21 day Master Money Now Challenge. I'm so delighted that you're here. This is for conscious entrepreneurs who are ready to really live into their purpose, have a bigger impact in the world, make the money they truly desire, put their money where their hearts are, and impact our global economy in a significant way because I believe that is uh, the most potent, that money is the most potent energetic path to transforming consciousness on this planet. So I would love to support you in really having the impact that you desire in your business and in this world. So today's money mindset strategy number 18 is learn courage. So this is, uh, this is an interesting one. There may be people around you who you admire because they seem to have a lot of courage. You may judge yourself in comparison to them, thinking that they must get great results in their business because they naturally have so much courage. But I've had, and I've actually had a lot of folks reflect to me that I come across as someone who has a lot of courage. So it must be really easy for me to do things in my business because of that. But here's the thing. The truth is that confidence and courage is not an inherent trait in our DNA. It's a learned trait. So you have to actually learn confidence and courage. It's And it's a skill that you can learn. You can learn to be brave, courageous, confident, social. You can learn any number way of ways of being. And the way you do that, the way you learn to be brave, is by doing the things that you're scared to do. There literally is no other path than to simply be afraid of doing something and do it anyway. That is how you learn courage. So the only way you get over your fear is by constantly doing things that you're afraid of. And each progressive time, you get less afraid. In fact, I watched this interview with Elizabeth Gilbert, author of Eat, Pray, Eat, Pray Love and Big Magic recently, who someone who I completely admire, who has had an amazing impact on the world, who has made a lot of money doing what she loves. And she admitted, this was a recent interview in the last six months, she admitted that 90% of the time she is in fear, yet she comes across as completely confident. And that's because she's in this practice of constantly pushing the envelope, constantly leaning into what she's afraid of. And it's really powerful. It has an amazing impact for her and also for the people who are able to witness her and engage with her. So courage is a muscle. You grow it with practice. So you've got to begin something before you're ready. You can't wait for your idea or your program or your service or your brand or your blog post or your event or your Facebook Live or whatever to be perfect before you do it. Right, You've got to start before you're ready and trust that you will become the person you need to be along the way. So you've got to commit to yourself and truly decide to structure your life around your purpose and lean into the places that scare you. So decide that you're going to do this and, and start doing it now. Because the thing is, time is a non-replaceable currency. You can never get time back. And I hope you can really hear me say that waiting for the right time to do whatever is going to keep you from doing it now. You're going to lose time. You're going to waste time by not leaning forward and doing what scares you right now. And this is your life. So choose to lead it with courage. So the exercise for today's strategy of learn courage is to take an action that scares you. Any action, it doesn't matter. Do one thing a day that scares you. Maybe it's a Facebook Live. Maybe it's calling a prospective client or customer. Maybe it's inviting yourself to speak on a stage. Stretch your muscle of courage and you can do this and let me know what came up for you. Many blessings. Bye for now.